Good day everyone! Welcome to our presentation on the female reproductive system of mammals, specifically in cattle. This system plays a vital role in reproduction, which is crucial for maintaining livestock populations and ensuring agricultural productivity. In this video, we will identify, label, and explain the functions of various parts of this intricate system. Let's get started! We'll begin with the external structures. The vulva is the external opening of the reproductive system. It serves as the entry point for mating and the exit for urine and birthing. Moving inward, the vagina connects the vulva to the cervix. It functions as the birth canal during delivery and the site of semen deposition during natural mating. The vaginal vestibule is part of the vagina near the vulva, which houses the opening of the urethra allowing urine to exit. The anterior vagina, located closer to the cervix, plays a role in directing semen toward the uterus during reproduction. Next is the cervix. The cervix is a thick-walled structure separating the vagina from the uterus. It contains several important parts. First is the external cervical os which opens into the vagina. Second is the fornix. It is a circular structure surrounding the os. Next is the internal cervical os that leads to the uterine body. And lastly, the cervical rings, which form a barrier preventing contamination while allowing sperm passage during reproduction. Next is the uterus. The uterus in cattle is bicornuate, meaning it has two horns. The uterine body connects the two horns and leads to the cervix. The uterine horns are the sites of fetal development. Now, let's see one of the uterine horns incised to show internal structures. The caracals found in the uterine lining are where the placental cotyledons attach during pregnancy. The uterine wall has three layers, the myometrium, endometrium, and perimetrium. The myometrium is a muscular layer responsible for contractions during labor. The endometrium is the inner lining that supports fetal development, while the perimetrium is the outermost layer providing structural support. Next is the broad ligament. The broad ligament supports the reproductive tract and it includes the mesometrium, which supports the uterus, the mesosalpinx that holds the oviduct, and the mesovarium which anchors the ovaries. Next, we have the oviduct, a tubular structure connecting the ovary to the uterus. It has three main sections, the isthmus, a narrow part near the uterus, the ampulla, a wider section where fertilization typically occurs, and the enterotubal junction connecting the oviduct to the uterine horns. The ovaries are small, oval-shaped organs that produce eggs and hormones. Each ovary contains the follicles, which house developing eggs. When the follicle matures, it ruptures and becomes corpus hemorrhagico, then later becomes the corpus luteum. When the luteinizing hormone triggers the transformation of follicular cells into luteal cells, the corpus luteum produces progesterone, a hormone essential for maintaining pregnancy. If fertilization does not occur, the corpus luteum regresses and becomes corpus albicans. To summarize, the female reproductive system in cattle is a complex and well-coordinated network of organs, each playing a crucial role in reproduction. From the external structures like the vulva to the internal mechanisms of the uterus and ovaries, every part works together to ensure successful reproduction and the continuation of the species. In this time, I am now going to present the male reproductive system in mammals and still a focus on cattle. This intricate system is responsible for the production, storage, and delivery of sperm necessary for reproduction. Right now, we'll identify and explain the major components of this system. Let's dive in! We'll start with the penis, the copulatory organ in males. It has two main components. The corpus cavernosum, which becomes engorged with blood during an erection, and the corpus spongiosum, which surrounds and protects the urethra, ensuring the passage of sperm and urine. The prepus is the sheath of skin covering and protecting the penis when it's not erect. The sigmoid flexure, on the other hand, is a unique S-shaped curve in the penis of bulls that allows for retraction and extension during mating. It has two bends, the distal bend 
which is closer to the tip of the penis, and the proximal band which is nearer to the body. Next is the urethra. It is the tube through which both urine and semen exit the body. Surrounding it are important muscles. First is the urethral muscle, which aids in semen ejaculation, and the ischiocavernous muscle which helps contain erection by compressing veins during copulation. The accessory glands produce fluids that support the transport of sperm. These include the seminal vesicles, the prostate gland, and the bulbourethral glands. The seminal vesicles add fructose-rich fluid for sperm energy. The prostate gland produces alkaline fluid to neutralize the female reproductive tract acidity, while the bulbourethral or Cowper's gland provide lubrication. Next, we have the testicles, the primary reproductive organs in males. Inside the testicles are the seminiferous tubules where sperm are produced, the retotestas which collects sperm from the seminiferous tubules, and the mediastinum, a connective tissue structure that supports the retotestis. Then, the sperm travel to the epididymis, a long coiled tube with three sections. The cap of the epididymis where sperm enter and begin maturation. The corpus epididymis where sperm continue to mature. Then, the cauda epididymis where sperm are stored until ejaculation. Moreover, the spermatic cord contains blood vessels, nerves, and the vas deferens, which transport sperm from the epididymis to the urethra during ejaculation. Lastly, the retractor penile muscle. It is responsible for retracting the penis back into the prepus after mating. This muscle works in conjunction with the sigmoid flexor for efficient extension and retraction. To summarize, the male reproductive system in cattle is a highly specialized and efficient system. From the sperm production in the testicles to its delivery through the penis, every component plays a critical role in reproduction. We hope this presentation has provided a clear and detailed understanding of this fascinating system. Thank you for your time and attention.